I keep traveling no matter how busy I am being an audacious and a spiritual person पिछले 10 सालों में मैंने हिमालय को काफी एक्सप्लोर किया है मैंने अपने दो दोस्तों को फोन मिलाया और बोला यार कहीं चलते हैं एंड इस बार वी डिसाइडेड टू एक्सप्लोर लीस्ट पॉपुलेटेड रीजन ऑफ इंडिया समवेयर जहां पर इंसानों ने अपने फायदे के लिए नेचर को बर्बाद ना किया हो सिंस वी वर राइडिंग टू पीपल ऑन वन बाइक वो भी सामान के साथ थोड़ी दिक्कत तो होने वाली थी पर चलेगा बट इट टर्न आउट टू बी मोर एडवेंचरस वी वर इन कल्पा ऑन द सेकेंड डे ऑफ आवर जर्नी As we started moving closer to Nako on day 3 the terrain started getting tougher but we enjoyed every turn of it well that is what we were there for As we were getting closer the excitement to reach there was impelling this is the last stretch before we enter the middle kingdom
people I met here are extremely humble with the attitude to help you in every situation. This also made me think if this small part of neighboring Tibet is so beautiful, how beautiful the real Tibet itself would be. Well, it is sad to say Tibet was forcefully occupied by China. Chinese are now using that piece of land to dump nuclear waste, probably to destroy the existence of Tibet and its people. Yes, that was me. It doesn't matter how skilled you are. 30 plus water crossing between Chandratal and Gramfu will pull you down at least once. Just as we were going on the road, I started getting flashbacks in my mind on the adventures we had in the last 7 days. And finally, the last day has come. The road seems to be infinite though. For me, it was not a journey. It was a soul satisfying experience. The more I thought about it, the more I realized if I had to do it all over again, I wouldn't have thought twice. Yes, that is me. I'm not sure what I'm doing. 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 I'm not sure what I'